Every year in January, I like to make some predictions as to what direction Home Assistant is going to head in for the next 12 months and kind of guess what big additions we will see added over the next year, just for a little bit of fun. So let's get to 2024's guesses now that it is 2024. Happy New Year, by the way. Hope you are all feeling rested and feeling good after the holidays. And let's get into it. First though, however, we do need to take a look back at my predictions from last year to see what I got right and more likely what I didn't get right. The first prediction I made last year was for voice support in Home Assistant on multiple devices and in multiple languages, which was key. And I specifically said that I didn't think we were going to be able to ask random questions about the time in a different country or the height of your favourite celebrity or anything like that but I thought we would get control of our devices. And that's pretty much dead on exactly what happened. Multiple languages were worked on right from the beginning of the year and continuously throughout the whole year. And I'm just an ignorant English only speaker, so I don't know how well other languages other than English worked. But according to the data, there were quite a few languages that were all at a good and acceptable level. And then we also got multiple different devices too. So we got ESP Home on ESP32 devices. We got calling on house phones or analog phones, which I never predicted would happen, but that did happen and that was a thing. We got Raspberry Pi satellite devices at the end of the year. So I'm gonna chalk this up to a win for me. Yes. Number two was microphone support on ESP Home. This one of course happened pretty early on, which opened the door for mic support on devices like the M5 Stack Echo, the S3 Box and DIY devices of course, and this played a big part in voice last year. Two for two. Next I said that we were gonna get some sort of organization for automations, be that with groups or folders or maybe tags, just some way of improving the wall of automations and making it easier to find the right one. This one unfortunately didn't happen. We didn't really see any movement on this at all in 2023, which is a shame. Number four was Matter support. So I boldly claimed that Home Assistant would have the best Matter support out of any of the brands out there. And I actually have a really good perspective of this because I made a video a few months back about which Matter devices you could actually buy, which involved me buying a bunch of different Matter devices and connecting them to five of the main platforms many, many times each. So I got quite a lot of experience of Matter on all of the different platforms. And I would say that Home Assistant does have the best Matter support right now alongside HomeKit. Those two were the most reliable at connecting, disconnecting and repairing devices over and over again. The other three had quirks and bugs, but HomeKit and Home Assistant were the most reliable for me by far. So I'm gonna take it. Finally, the last one was NAS support to be able to add network storage to Home Assistant for media, which we got in the June release, which allowed you to add network storage for media but also for backups, which you could then offload to a central NAS for safekeeping, which was really great to see and one of my favorite additions of last year, which lands me with four out of five coming true. And that's pretty good. I'm happy with that way better than last year at least. But now let's get on to this year's predictions. Now I should say that these aren't things I necessarily think will happen but more of a combination of things that I would like to personally see happen and things that I think have the potential to happen with the way that the project is headed. And as always, I have no insider information or anything like that. It's just purely a guess for fun. So first up, I'm gonna put back in and say that automations, uh, grouping or tags and folders is gonna happen this year and we will see an improved way to organize or categorize automations, either by putting them in a folder for like living room, kitchen, bedroom, that type of thing, or by using tags or maybe even a combination of both. This type of solution would help find automations quicker and easier if you have a larger install that has 50, 100, 200 automations where you're scrolling through the list trying to find the one you're looking for and that can be quite challenging if you have a lot of automations. And just now we kind of have to rely on using a naming scheme to organize things and maybe using the search. 
but folders or tags would be a great way to help with this. Secondly, I would love to see some sort of dedicated official hardware from Nabucasa for using voice with Home Assistant with local wake word on board. Right now we have ESP home devices that you can make or use off the shelf ones like the Echo or the S3 box, but I would personally love to see home assistants take on what a voice assistant hardware should look like and how they envision it working, with wake word done locally on the device of course. Much in the way that they have the green and the yellow and the Sky Connect, which is all their own hardware, and that generally really has a good user experience out of the box, I'd love to see what they came up with for voice and how they envision that seamlessly integrating into Home Assistant. I was wondering if they would manage to do something last year, but then thought it was a little bit of a tight schedule with everything going on. But hopefully this year we see some sort of cool voice assistant with speakers for playing media on from the team behind Home Assistant. That would be really cool. My third prediction is I think we will see continued UI improvements in a bigger way this year. Last year we saw lots of little card upgrades and UX improvements, which were all really cool. And then later on in the year, there was improvement to the auto-generated dashboard, which was much needed. But I think they will take this to the next level in 2024 and do something much bigger with the auto-generated dashboard, or maybe even the entire dashboard layout in general. The whole grid system where cards don't quite line up with each other, and it can be tricky to get cards in the right position you want when you're rearranging them, is in much need of an overhaul to make things easier, and I feel like 2024 might be the year that happens. At least I hope it will be. If they improve the auto dashboard enough, which currently isn't usually that nice to look at, then that could be enough to stop most people looking to community made dashboards and cards to improve their own dashboards, and maybe they will just use the stock dashboard instead. It's one of the biggest bits of feedback I hear is that the stock dashboard isn't very beginner friendly and is tricky to use, so it would be really nice to see a big overhaul here, which it feels like they were gearing up for in the last year in 2023. Next up, love it or hate it, would any predictions list in 2024 be complete without mentioning AI? So number four, I think we will see some sort of large language model or AI control inside of Home Assistant in some form. So right now you can interact with ChatGPT and Bard amongst others using Assist, but currently they can only provide information or answers. They don't do control just yet. But I think that might change next year in some capacity. Not sure how I would feel about giving something like ChatGPT or Bard or another cloud service control of my smart home personally, though I know some people would love that. But maybe we will see the integration of a local open source LLM into Home Assistant instead like Llama that they would then allow control with. Not saying we should give it access to everything, especially security devices, that could be risky, but it would be interesting to be able to test something like lights or fans just to see if there is any potential of AI in the smart home. There are actually ways already of allowing this via community integrations, but perhaps we will see something more official this year too. Last but not least, number five, I would love to see more granular user controls added in 2024, which I do think are very much needed. At the moment, you can basically create two types of user accounts, an admin account or a normal user. Admins can by default access everything, and user accounts are mostly restricted to just viewing dashboards. But I think we really could do with more granular control over these, like being able to allow access to dashboards and allow adding of integrations and new devices, but restricting access to add-ons and voice settings, for example. This would be really great for customizing the way we let other people use our home assistants. Maybe some family members are pretty good with Home Assistant and mostly know what they are doing, so you want to let them do most things, but you don't want to let them change critical things like network settings or delete integrations or remove add-ons and so on. This would be a really nice addition, I personally think. That's 2024's predictions locked in, so I guess we're gonna see in a year's time how many, if any, actually come true. Just a bit of fun to make some guesses as to what's gonna happen over the next year. 
And it's honestly just really fun to look back and see what's happened over the course of the year, whether I guessed it or not, and how many I got right. Honestly, I'm surprised how many I actually got right from the last year. I thought maybe one or two I would get right, but I have to say, big pat on the back for me for getting four out of five right. And I would also love to hear what your predictions are down in the comments for the next year. You always have some great suggestions that I haven't even thought of yet, so do drop them down in the comments as always. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Drop this video a like, get subscribed, and I will see you in the next video.